Good afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to make another quick video. This is Dana, the only speaking parent advocate for um, parents in the tri-state area who are dealing with distance learning, stress and strain. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more updates. This is an ongoing issue as we're all aware. Um, so uh, my first message is going to be to whomever screenshotted my private Facebook page and then sent it to my child's second grade teacher. I am just so glad that I don't have your life. So anything that I post in, in um, regards to distance learning is, is a general statement. And I can understand where, um, where the confusion came in. However, the post has been amended. Um, the person didn't screenshot that, did they? No, they didn't. That's funny the way that people work. Um, post has been amended. I am in constant contact with parents. I am frequently juggling multiple messenger um, DMs a day um, from parents, from parents that are friends, that are not my friends, parents that um, uh, internationally, because I'm a part of a couple of mom gr groups, because I'm part of a couple of parenting groups and have been for like the better part of a decade. So, I mean, <laughs> Anything that I state about distance education is not specific to my child's school or teacher. I really, really mean it. If I have a problem with the teacher or the way a teacher is treating my child, I'm not going to take that out on social media. I'm going to say, hey, teach, noticed you were a little sassafras with my kid. You want to talk about it? But that's not what, what, <laughs> what happened today. What happened today was we legitimately logged on late. We couldn't get on. And so when I made that post, that was about a completely different situation. That was about a teacher whose administrator was telling her that she had to take points off and she didn't feel it was fair. Okay? Without giving all that detail, I, I didn't want to get into it. But now I have to. So that person thought they were helping, like so many do. And what they actually did was cause discord um, and cause a, a literal disinformation campaign between the teacher and I. I am truly disappointed in that person. I have it narrowed down. It's only one of two. Either way, if we had to throw all of our own problems into a, a, a pile in the middle of the floor, I'd still jump in and take my own problems back at the end of the day. Trust me. So, I had to get out for a bike ride um, and I had to just kind of get this out in, in a way that like I knew I wouldn't be interrupted by kids. I knew I wouldn't be interrupted by people. Um, I also want to say that I encourage people to reach out to me. Um, you know, I think we need to start collecting these examples of, of, of um, ways that education is hindering um, our children instead of helping them. And we need to start collecting them and presenting them at meetings. Um, these teachers I was sitting in on a meeting last night spend a lot of time congratulating themselves about how well things are going. Let me tell you something. It is not going well for parents. And I'm the only